They call him the captain. He was captured with 10 other men off the coast of Somalia. Off camera, he tells us he is no pirate, simply a fisherman from Mogadishu. But a Seychelles court found him guilty of piracy, sentencing him to six years in jail. This hillside prison is home to more than a hundred Somalis accused of robbery on the high seas. Seychelles is one of the few countries in the world willing to prosecute and imprison pirates. There has to be a clear message of ending impunity of pirates. The world seems to say we're willing to pay the cost of piracy, we're willing to pay higher insurance costs, we're willing to pay to put private security on board vessels, and therefore the cycle continues. The presence of European warships off the coast of Somalia is sending pirates east, here to the Seychelles, and north to Yemen and Oman. The Seychelles Coast Guard has an impossible task. It has six ships which patrol an ocean three times the size of South Africa. This is southeast monsoon season, making it extremely difficult for pirates to operate in these rough seas. But the Seychelles Coast Guard says come September, shipping in these waters will come under attack. The Seychelles has no natural resources. Its economy relies on tourism and fishing. But because of piracy, cruise ships no longer stop here. And fishermen from this region are among the hostages being held in Somalia. Today it is getting more expensive for insurance, for ships themselves to move in that area. So the commodity, commodities that move from one country to another through these waters have gone up. And there's a limit to how we can make people, inhabitants of Africa, the whole of Africa, and the rest of the world suffer because one country is in disarray. What most world leaders agree on is the solution is in Somalia. Without an effective government there, pirates will continue to head out to open seas, willing to risk capture or even death for a cut of this lucrative business. Nazani Mashiri, Al Jazeera, Mahi, in the Seychelles.